everyone. Welcome to Pearl's Kitchen. Welcome to Pearl's Christmas Special. All this week leading up to Christmas, I'm going to show you lovely goodies that we Anglo Indians make before Christmas. So you stay tuned onto my YouTube channel because every day we'll show you different things that we make. So it's while uh, during Christmas making all these goodies with my mum gave me such happy memories. So I hope you make them with your children too and create some lovely memories. So we always on day one we always made ginger wine. Now we have to make the ginger wine first because it needs six days to ferment. Okay, so keep following me and as you see me in red, I'm keeping up the Christmas spirit. So every day you'll see me in green, red, green, red. Okay, so let's make some ginger wine. Okay, so for our ginger wine, the ingredients that we need is a very simple and easy way to make it, ginger wine. So what we need is here in the pan, I've got two and a half liters of water and I've already put the gas on to get hot. The water's getting hot, it's not boiling yet. And then over here, I've got 400 grams of ginger. I've actually just cut big pieces and I haven't peeled the skin. You don't need to peel the skin because the goodness is in the skin as well. I'll show you what to do with this. So it's got 400 grams of ginger and here I've got 200 grams of raisins you can use golden raisins or dark raisins here i've got 200 grams of sugar and in this saucer i've got two grated rind of limes and only only just uh, grate the rind and don't uh, try and grate it too much because the white bit the white part of the lime will make it very bitter so just gently grate it and then take out the juice of those two limes and put it in a cup and here I've got two tablespoons of sugar and water and we'll make a caramel from that. And then also you need to grate is one big orange, just the skin of it, just grate that, we don't need any juice. And in here you need a yeast, one teaspoon of yeast and one teaspoon of sugar that I've got there. I'll show you how, what to do with, with that later. And in here I've got 10 cloves and uh, three to four small cinnamon sticks. I've got 10 green cardamom. I've got two whole green chilies, which I, red chilies, sorry, that I broke and into half. And I've got two bay leaves and I've got a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And the other things you'll need for later is a jar for when it cools down to put in there. A sieve, a cloth, I'll show you as we go along. Wooden spoon. This is very handy, Balen. So now I'm going to show you what to do with this, with the ginger. So the water is already getting hot. You take all this ginger and you put this into this cloth. And any tea towel will do. And just wrap it here. And then now you start bashing this, okay? So crush it as much as you can because people grate it, that's too too fine we don't need it grated we don't need it chopped we need it crushed so keep bashing it okay so we've had a good bashing so that's how it should look like here all like crushed up and then you take all of this and put it into the water still not boiling but it's nice and hot and at this point you put in the sugar as well now in India the sugar is quite thick grain so it takes time to start melting it but here the sugar is very fine okay so give the sugar a little stir you'll see how 
easy this is to make. And then you take the, uh, the raisins and put all the raisins in it as well. And give it another stir. And then you take all this chilies and the bay leaves and the nutmeg. And give that another stir. Now this gin ginger wine, when you make, make it, it's really, really good. It can be used for medicinal purposes as well. So if you have a tummy ache, ginger wine. If you have a indigestion problem, ginger wine. If you're feeling low and down, it'll you can use it as a pick-me-up, as long as you don't drink too much. And that's it. You just make this. So now what you do is just let this come to a boil. And uh, as soon as it comes to a boil, then you need to lower the heat and let it boil as a rolling boil for 15 minutes. Okay, you see now it's starting to boil. So as soon as it starts to boil, we need to put the lid back and then lower the heat. Not too much. So it's still boiling away. And now let it boil. Do not touch this for 15 minutes. As you can see that's still boiling and we've still got five more minutes so wha what we need to do is we need to make the yeast so in a bowl take a teaspoon of yeast you can find this in India at any baker's shop because when I was growing up I don't remember anybody selling yeast like this but here and then you put one teaspoon of sugar in there and then a tablespoon of water and that's it and give it a stir put some warm water in the yeast and that's it keep that aside and then here in this uh, in this pot I've got two tablespoons of sugar and you put just one tablespoon of water in it and just put the gas on and now we make this into a caramel and that won't take long so just keep stirring it till it becomes nice and golden color which won't be long People think making wine is difficult. It's not actually. I mean, as a kid, I used to watch my mum make wine. And the first time I had a sip, nearly blew my head off because it caught my throat. So I remember that very well. The, the wine a little bit nice color otherwise my mum used to say I won't tell you what my mum used to say but what it looks like at the moment but when you add this then it changes the color that's it so now while that is still boiling you just put this one off and then pour that <coughs> It's 
for 20 minutes and then now what we can do is add the lime juice to it and then add the why we add the the rind of the uh, lime and lemon and the orange or whatever you're putting last because if you boil it start to boil it then it will start to get a bit bitter so you just have to add the limes right at the end to stop the wine from getting bitter so now what you need to do is just put the gas off and you, we still haven't added the yeast yet because we'll only add that when this cools down so maybe it'll take a 20 minutes or so to cool down so I'll show you after when it cools down what we do so there you go we've had 20 minutes of this cooling time and here it's all nice and cool now at this moment you need to add the yeast okay so it's already bubbling so there it goes in here and give it, put some in the bowl get all of it in there and give it a stir and now what we need to do is we need to get all this mixture with everything in it into this bottle okay so you preferably a glass bottle a uh, plastic bottle people some people use but I always use glass bottle so use a jug and get every bit of it into it. You need some place in the jar. Okay, so that's done. Now, why we need this? This jar is like a seal jar. Okay, so but what we don't need is we don't need the sealer because if we seal this completely, then the bottle in two days will start to explode. So what I did is remove this. You don't need the sealer, and just take a muslin cloth or any see-through cloth and then put it on the jar and take a string or a rubber band and just put it around it so there you go the rubber band is put on there now what you do is because if you lock this again with the locker then again it will get airtight you don't need it so just put the lid loosely back on there and this then you just put this whole bottle away in a corner and do not touch it for six days after six days uh, I'll show you how to bottle this wine hi everybody now today is the sixth day so today we're going to bottle our wine okay so here's the bottle the wine that we kept away and I haven't touched it in the six days so what we're going to do is now you need a wooden spoon and let's see what the wine looks like undo the rubber band and the cloth there you go as you see it's it still looks good and uh, don't worry about all this because that's just the fermentation just take a wooden spoon and it smells lovely and give it a stir okay and now what, what we need is we need a strainer and we need a plastic bowl so what we're going to do is pour all this into this plastic bowl
Yeah, pour it all into there. And that's it. And now take the wooden spoon and now press out all the juices as much as you can. spices and the ginger. I bet this will be so tasty. Okay. Get as much as you can out of it. jug, a glass jug preferably, and a small tea strainer will do. Now we're going to strain it into the jug. bit at the bottom don't put that and, uh, so now what we need you need a bottle preferably a dark bottle and a funnel if you have one and now uh, we're going to put this into the bottle so gently otherwise it will start pouring from the sides If you have some left over, put it in the second bottle. There you go. I'll put that in the second bottle later. So now what you do is take the cork and just press that tightly into the bottle and there's your ginger wine now so now you put this bottle safely away so don't touch it don't shake it about and we shall have this with our Christmas dinner so see you later <laughs>